with macro, it's finding all these little things that you normally miss. It's this whole thing that we overlook in life. You can go down your local park and you'll find bugs that you've never noticed. They've been there all your life and you can suddenly get these fascinating images of them that people will engage with. Uh, so my name's James Andrews. I run Pro Hides, which is based here in Wiltshire. We're just on the edge of Oxfordshire and Berkshire, so just outside of London. Uh, and we're a photography hide company. We hire out hides and we run courses and workshops throughout the year, as well as offering tuition. Yes, for me, when I'm doing photography, for me, when I'm not doing it to you know, teach someone or doing it because I'm being paid to do it, um, it would be wildlife and nature. I love being outdoors in places like this, getting away from the modern world. Uh, and just finding stuff to photograph. You know, we've already mentioned macro. Uh, macro photography opens that world that we overlook. And it's a great fun one to play around with. So I'd say my, my two key loves in photography are macro and wildlife. I would think, I've, I would say I've got more of an appreciation of the natural world. I've always been fascinated by wildlife. You know, I was the kid who picked up the snails in the playground and caught the geckos when on holiday. Um, but being able to photograph that and capture that and share that with people, I think has been part of the joy, you know. I love getting a nice photo and showing it to someone. And what I'm really enjoying at the moment is my son is four years old um, and he's, he's just getting into photography. So he's picking up a camera and he's going, can we go and go for a walk? And he'll, you know, he'll walk for a while, Flower Valley, photographing things that even I'm not seeing because he's half my size, he's closest to the ground. He sees all the insects I miss. Um, so, for me, you know, that passion and that's, that's part of photography and if we can show people a little bit more of what's around them and what they're missing, hopefully they can start to appreciate it more. You know, the, the UK as a whole is, is in a tricky place when it comes to wildlife and nature. We've done some damage but there's still some beauty left in the UK and hopefully with photography, you know, some more people can see that. So for me, that would be my Tamron story.